He gave Big Boy last week. We played two clips last week, and we didn't really talk about the whole DJ Khaled situation that happened up mm. shortly before Nipsey was killed. But Black Sam wanted to somehow mention this DJ Khaled situation as if it was relevant. He suggested that it was relevant or connected to Nipsey's death and without... Without saying that, he suggested it. And, of course, people on the Internet are running with that narrative right now. Like crazy. Like crazy. Go ahead, Munchie. I think I went first on also every uh, pass he threw. Your turn. Yeah, go ahead, Munch. And then after you, uh, that, I'll, I'll play a clip. I don't, what he said, I don't think it was meant to be incriminating or getting anybody locked up. That's for one, right? I think he threw that out there by design based on the love that Nipsey had from all 50 states and out of America. You can see the love he had come from Africa and all that after his passing. I think he just basically did that. So the, so the connections Big you do have to the industry and, and the love he may have, it could get cut off, you know what I'm saying, based on the uh, emotional connection people have with Nipsey. I don't think it was nothing like on a dry snitch. Well, we'll call it, it's defined at that, but, but I don't think it was meant to Hey, uh, let's get Big U locked up. Cause outside of legality, do you think he's trying to paint the picture that he thinks that he want to paint the picture that he's to, not to, friendly toward Big U based on the dynamics and relationships with him, he and his brother? You think that was present? Run that back one more time. You think he was at least expressing he's not friendly or loving toward Big U's energy based on the dynamics with his brother and Big U in, in general? No, no, I think it was just what I said. I think he was, he, it was, he knew what he was doing. He was just trying to. Cut, cut water said, off. He knew what he was doing. Oh, cut water off. Yeah, cut water off. From whom? Industry connects that got that. For, for who? Uh, him just for himself. Cut off for himself. Himself. Uh, you no, know, you what know. I mean? he said he can't cut water off from okay. whom. Cut big you water off from any connections he may have, and that people that had love for Nipsey. When you hear this, and a quick reminder. It might cut his water off. Like I'm not dead. Why him. would he would desire to see Big U's water cut off? In your opinion, because people that know the history, you know, he 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 wasn't never in. You know, him and Big U ain't. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Uh, closer to Nipsey Dev, maybe Big U and Nipsey didn't rick us out, but that ain't got nothing to do with his brother. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So that, that 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 that's what I'm saying. But you know, I can relate to that because I can know from personal experience, not just from Nipsey. But from Big U, my interaction with them personally on opposite sides of them knowing we're talking to one another, I know regardless of how bad it had gotten at one point, they were actively attempting as grown men to do what they could to mend their, their, uh, their lack of communication, the, whatever we want to call it that they went through. And I just find it crazy that everybody trying to paint Big U in this light that, oh, he was jealous that Nipsey was able to bring someone as high profile as Cali to the hood without considering his position. And I see everybody running with that. I'm not knocking uh, Black Sam for maybe even connecting anything when it comes to Cali, but I just keep pointing out where, I seen Big U, bro. He showed text messages. There's been so much conversation about it. And it seems to me from my perspective, I could be wrong. Be wrong. It looked like DJ Cali, who had a pre-existing relationship with Big U, gave him a number that was no longer working. And Big U viewed that it was intentional. And he hollered at Nipsey about it. And if you know anything about LA and you believe you're coming to Los Angeles and throw a high profile anything in the 60s, and Big U is not gonna be considered, especially if you have a relationship with him, if it's Nipsey or anybody, that's gonna cause a problem. And from what I saw, the text message between Nipsey and Big U, where Nipsey told him, let me know when he ballots it, that was well understood no jealousy involved that's kind of like how shit go over there all right we're gonna play a couple clips we're gonna we're gonna first play uh black sam talking about this uh dj Khaled situation what was that day like for you bro Would, and did you feel any prem premonitions before we lost now 100 percent, man i think man we just uh it's my cousin's birthday, so the night, I want to say the night before, Hip took us to uh, Wally's, Beverly Hills, me, Pops, um, 
and Adam, my cousin Adam, and uh, just had a long talk with bro, you know, not to get into too much detail, but it was a lot of big politics, getting into it with certain people, you know, in the hood. Not to be speaking too much on shit, but we came front line like we always do. And, you know, niggas gonna know we gonna crash out behind it. Back, we not playing. Ain't nobody saying nothing to Khaled. Ain't nobody doing nothing to Khaled. And he's straight and hustle, front line that. And, um, you know, we felt like certain people didn't, didn't like that. And um, did the video. Khaled got out of there perfect and we smooth. And, you know, we appreciated Khaled for, the, for, for, for showing up and coming to the hood and, and, and doing right. a video and um, that's good you know okay so you, you heard black sam said we felt like certain people we felt like certain people didn't like that after you said front line it was a couple phrases i was trying to memorize front line was another phrase and there was a lot of bravado in what he stated and if you know about the environment that he's discussing if you feel that way, you can invite all type of energy. But it was cl it's clear that he's alluding that. Nobody's going to say, that's what he said, nobody's going to say nothing. Now, if the nobody is Big U in particular, and Khaled gave him the wrong number at a previous date, and Big U has no problem with Nipsey and his career, the separation, they're mending their relationship. And somebody industry-wise popped up in the rolling 60s and think they're going to have a presence after they threw me for an okie doke with a... Obviously, Big U got that Nipsey on some love shit. Look, nephew, I ain't tripping on what you're doing, but you know he whoopty whoop sent him a screenshot. Look, he did... Nipsey told him, like... I'm gonna give you the number, holler at him. When he balances it out, let me know. All right, so uh, before we go into that, I wanna play this clip of Big U explaining his conversation via text with Nipsey on the DJ Khaled situation. Mm -hmm. You gotta get in close. You see the date on there? See what that say? Tuesday, March 28th. This me and him talking, this me talking about DJ Khaled. I told him DJ Khaled had gave me his, 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 um, his what you call him number, right? And I said, I need to talk to Khaled. So Nip said, at the video, did you talk to him? You see what he said? I ain't got to read it. He said, did you talk to him? But I was doing an interview too. And I said, yeah. And I said, I'm going to call cuz back after the meeting. Nip said, off top, let me know once he balances it. So look, it's obvious. Now you see the date on there, right? Mm -hmm. Now how was me and him having a conflict? So it's obvious. If me and him talking, and now look, look, let me show you though. Not only that, let me show you why Nip took off the um. Remember when he had that that um Grammy Award thing? Look what I told him right here. Well, I think that that's the man for it, right? I said. Mm -hmm. uh, All right, so so let me ask you this, Spider. If Nipsey is responding to you in your in your back and forth conversation via text, and he says off top, that means that conversation is on some friendly, positive, everything's cool. You, that's, he that's, ain't gonna say off top if he's upset. That's equivalent to saying salute, or between Big U and Nipsey, that's, that's equivalent to saying neighborhood. And that was that was Nipsey's phrase, off top. Yep. You know, as to comfort, com to confirm, I'm in agreement. Yeah. So now, what's the di issue with? Big U having the wrong phone number of Khaled. Did this is a previous situation that happened prior to March? Not being an expert or actually in knowledge of what happened, just being able to to develop a perception from all the information that's before us. It appears that because we know um, Big U's um, status, I wouldn't be surprised to know he had a prior relationship with Khaled that extended this video with Nipsey. And from what it appears to me at this time of this video, without Big U's knowledge, DJ Khaled, not Nipsey, DJ Khaled was in his hood doing something without his knowledge in the rolling 60s after you cut off our normal level of communication as far as Big U concerned by giving me a fake number. So it didn't matter if it was, shout out to Key to Rock, Free to Home, it could have been Key to Rock, it could have been Nipsey, it could have been Corrupt. It could have been anybody over there. Big U was going to have the same interest in that homie making 
account be accountable for what he did. Okay, where do it say <clears throat> when did fake number come up? Why couldn't it have been the old number? Well, it, it, keep saying it, fake. Irregardless, big, you was interested in why my inter my communication with you changed and you in my hood. But you know, fake number changed the whole dynamics of the message. Though it sound like the thing is, you in my hood, and I want to talk to you, and we had a cool report. And you now hear what I'm saying though, with fake and old number. I think if if a Spider give me a fake number, I'm like, oh, Spider on some other shit. But if it's an old number, it's not like that. See, me and you, myself, I'm the one that assumed or insinuated. We don't know, Big. You said what you'ma call it? He don't say fake, new, old, wrong. He don't say none of okay, that. Okay, that's all. Right. That's all. Trying to. Uh, he said okay. what you'ma call it? Mm -hmm. And he seems when he's reading it, whatever it was, he was interested about it. And when he hollered at his little homie, his homie was fulfilling the request and politicking and patching it in. And from what I from what I gathered, the video was never supposed to be in the 60s. In your you know, hood. Nipsey. Well, your and, section. You're right. In, my, in, in the city I'm from, it was, it was supposed to, there was in the Queen Streets in Inglewood. And Nipsey, and Nipsey refused. Said, nah, I ain't doing it over there. Come to the, I don't know, it was Chris Hall the uh, Dorset Village, wherever they was at. So it wasn't really planned for him to be over there anyway. You know Notice what I'm it wasn't John Legend. Perhaps Big U doesn't have a history report with John Legend. Nipsey, John Legend, no question. I totally, fully understand mm -hmm. having a motherfucking connection with Big U and being in the industry and then thinking you're going to avoid me and pop up in my hood with anybody. You know I love Nipsey. I, I'm going to eliminate Nipsey. Anybody think they're going to bring somebody industry-wise to the 60s that was cool with Big U and now they're acting like I'm coming without you. It's a problem. Hey, when you say words like avoid... Fake number, then that 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 alludes to the, the the theory they trying to put out. Now, I understand clearly what you're talking about, Spider, because this is just normal hood politicking. But Black Sam grew up in the same neighborhood. He should know that. What, the way he articulated the the college situation is is he left it open for interpretation to suggest that. Whatever Big U and college situation was, was not normal, and it possibly led to the death of my bro. Hey, did y'all ever take into uh, mm -hmm. consideration that Black Sam don't have no media training? Cause no, he, definitely. He, 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 not, no, he, not, he never, five years of his brother passing, never been on camera to now. Even before then, he never was, a, I don't think he had a social media, you know what I'm saying? And it seemed yeah. like he tried his best to avoid what we're suggesting, but he still didn't meet the mark. I heard him say this a couple of times, not to say too not much. Not to say too much, yeah, not yeah. To, too much detail, he not tried. to say too much. But he, he clearly um, left his door open for all kind of conspiracy theories, all kind of criticisms, all and, and, and uh, most of this is creating a whole lot of false information. True. And that's basically what Cowboy said, and I agree. And for us to react to it based on the facts, it casts us in the light to a lot of people is we're trying to protect certain people, but really we – tend to react to all the information or content on the internet that's relevant to our culture. This is one of the subjects, and we always keep it honest about our thoughts on the subject mm. matter. I'm glad yeah. you said that. Ain't no way a guy like DJ Khaled, of his caliber and his wealth, is going to pull up in the hood without somebody from that hood trying to get at him. And not saying Nipsey is not qualified, but if you had a previous relationship with Big U, you cannot then think you finna, oh, I'm with him and I ain't got, that's gonna be a problem, bro.